today's video is going to be about the disturbing reason behind the high turnover in trucking so disturbing it's disturbing because you would think that this some of these problems and issues could be resolved e easily however i i believe all truckers fight the ability to manage these things and resolve some of these issues. The little theme of everything I'm gonna talk about is gonna come down to the lifestyle of being a trucker. So that's over the road, that's regional, and even some of this can even apply to a local truck driver. Trucking can be very gruesome, meaning you feel like you're at work and you're constantly on the go, even when you're sleeping. So, and even when you have like a 34 hour reset, it's a constant thing because even when you're sleeping, a lot of times you have to sleep at a shipper or receiver because of scheduling or weather, like I've been dealing with a lot lately. And even though you're sleeping and you're trying to relax, you can't because one, you're not at, you're not at home. Sometimes you don't have access to a bathroom. So you're on even when you're supposed to be off. It's lonely. So being a truck driver, it's lonely because, I mean, for the obvious reasons, you're constantly here or there. You don't really want to strike a conversation with complete strangers because you could end up revealing too much about yourself and that could be a danger to you. Um, but human beings, we need other humans. We need human contact. We need to make a uh, like facial. Just talking on the phone isn't enough. Just texting isn't enough. We need to make facial like contact with one another that's why human beings see uh, see faces and things that there isn't a face because we're constantly looking for another human's contact uh, another thing trucking can be very dangerous for the obvious reasons you got weather you got etc etc but these are things that you deal with constantly on a regular basis things like uh weather winter weather for instance like snow you have ice you have sleet you have, well, I've been dealing with the, the snow supposed to be cleaned up, but it actually isn't everywhere. There's snow packed areas and they're icy and slick, but other people think the road is clear and they're just flying by. Uh, <laughs> so you got tornadoes. Um, I have not had to deal with this yet, but I'm scared to death about the idea of having to deal with being afraid of a tornado coming through where I'm at. Okay, because where do you go? Then you have flooding. There's plenty of situations where there's flash flooding and you have to stay on top of that as well. You have other cars. You have people who are um, under the influence. You have people that fall asleep. You have other truckers who may fall asleep, who may be under the influence or it's just be having a really crappy day and they just decide to get out on the road and just let loose. So you have that. And then you have what I feel like, what I am really, really starting to realize for myself, talking to many other truck drivers, and that is the pay does not equal the sacrifice. It really doesn't, guys. The only people I know that feel like the pay equals the sacrifice are people who have gotten their, like, their own fleet. Um, otherwise... <sighs> It just isn't because even in a good economy, I would say from what I've heard and talked to other owner operators, there's still this up and down that you got, you have to deal with, and you have to prepare for. But even with that, even when you're making good money, you still have to be out on the road. You still are losing the human connections and relationships. Um, it's just, <laughs> then you got road expenses. So you're out here on the road you have to have stuff out in the road. And what I've been noticing, even though I buy stuff and I tried to make it stretch, um, I don't have that much room in my refrigerator. Still some things go bad. Things get frozen that shouldn't like my almond milk. It got frozen and now it's disgusting. So you have that, you have road expense, you have just showers. Um, if you're owner operator, goodness gracious, I can only imagine the type of expenses you have. And you constantly have the ability, you have you know with this job that if you do not take care and pay attention to what you're doing and the other people around you, other truckers and cars around you are not taking care and paying attention, this is a very dangerous field. Like the idea of loss of life is a constant thing. If someone 
may drop a trailer around you or you drop a trailer or you don't connect something correctly or you don't check your airlines um you have a blowout and lose control i mean there's just there's so much to consider it just doesn't feel like the pay is worth the sacrifice especially the time away from home from friends you don't get to take a shower every day you don't get to take care of your personal needs every day and it's like and from what i've been hearing the pay for trucking is going decreasing and i and from what i've been hearing it's not just because of the economy it's just decreasing for whatever reason some people say there's too many people in the field maybe that is true but the pay for me it does not equal the sacrifice so these are a lot of reasons why plenty of people get into trucking and they're out of it in less than a year. I know plenty of people that I just went to school with and they didn't even make it to six months because of different different things that just went on that just they just could not manage the lifestyle, the stress of it. it it's just, it's not <laughs> glitz and glamour, that's for sure. And I will tell you guys, honestly, candidly, I saw a lot more glitz and glamour than what was reality. So I am guilty of believing the wrong things about trucking. And that's why I'm making this video to you guys, uh, for you guys, making this video for you guys, because I really want you to know the real, what you, what you can expect when you get into trucking and how easy it is to quickly leave out of it. And a lot of times, I can say I understand why you would want to leave like immediately. So um, let me know in the comment section if there's any other things that you all experience in trucking that made you, if you left, why you left or things that make you want to leave like every day. Because there's plenty of things that make me want to leave every day, but doing what I can, sticking in there as long as I can. So please uh, subscribe put on notification bell these video i have a series of videos i'm making specifically for people who are interested in getting into trucking or in trucking for the first time hey guys i forgot to insert about how disgusting and nasty people are out here as well i'll make a separate video about that tuning in and uh i look forward to speaking with you guys later bye bye for now life is like a hurricane here in Cause this is aeroplanes, it's a duck blur Might solve a mystery, or rewrite history